go. This is going to be an easy day for you. You're going to lock and load. This is fun time. Yeah, that girl. They're coming. I hear it. In BC Swamp. Oh, this was in that Tarzan movie. I remember this. Them giant lizards that come sucking people down. Uh, they're doing about 150 miles an hour. They're all drunk. Must be sniffing glue or something. They're crazy out there. You okay, Ma? There you go. This is comedy dog training. Today's an easy day for you, buddy. Thinking about trying um, the look at me drill again today. This is one of her favorite areas. It's real simple. She's kind of laid back here, so maybe this will be an interesting day to try. Careful up there, that's Chief Butu from the Hungawa tribe. Be careful. They're circling. They're going to come flying out of the jungle. Little brown shack has a bunch of carnival retards in there. They're from the circus. They live in that brown box over there. I hear funny music in the jungle. See ya. No rolling in them dead animals. I don't want to have to go with the shower tonight. We don't have any hot water in our house because Biden shut it down because of inflation. That a girl. This is a comedy show. Yeah, you found something. It's probably a... Who the hell knows what it is? Could be one of those natives from the jungle. Where's Tarzan? <laughs> yeah, you're sniffing real bad today. Hello. Some treats today, so we'll just work on some basic look at me drills with the treats. And then I'll try to fade the treats out and see if she'll do it without the treats. She goes. She's gonna be swimming now. At it, girlie. I knew you couldn't resist the water. That's a big one, buddy. It's gotta be cold. Yeah, there's a camp on the other side. That's a Kaboni tribe. Be careful, they're dangerous. The Kaboni tribe. Look. Look. Good girl. Where are you? Well, Bella, look. Follow me. Go to the water, that's your reward. See, she's not really totally trained with this yet. And I skipped ahead about 50 steps. But actually, she did a little bit okay. So I think with practice, she's going to get this down 100%. It's definitely going to be worth the effort. Go. See, I got to get it part of the game, because if it's part of the game, it's all part of the fun time thing for her. Playtime. She likes playtime. And then short increments, and I think they will get this down. But basically skipping ahead to this part where the camera is not really 100% yet because she's not ready for that yet. She doesn't really have that cue down 100%. That's what she likes. She likes the plays and the crazy silly noises and throwing the sticks. She doesn't want to be bothered with some of the other things. But I have to kind of blend it into the game. If I blend it into the game, she won't really recognize it as being acute. It's going to be... To her, it's not really worth it. She doesn't see any sense in it, but she doesn't understand that I'm trying to get better photos and better videos of her. But over time, I believe we're going to be successful with this. Right, Mommy? When you throw the sticks, it's a million times better than the food treat. The treat reward. I mean, she's a food-motivated dog. She loves food. She can eat, like, 20 times more than I eat. But this dog loves to play, and she loves the sticks, so... Blending this look at me cue in, with the stick and the retrieving with the water and everything. It should work. Where's the stick? Did that... Whoa, the K Kabobi tribe stole it. Hurry up. It's going to be cold out there. I think the stick went to the bottom of the lake. You're not going to find it. You're going to be freezing when you get out. That's way too cold. Yeah, you got that one. That's a bigger stick. Good girl. Had a girlie. 99% if it's with the sticks and 
Throwing the stick, she loves this. You can bring the best cheese in the world, but it's not going to compare with this. Now I have to find a way to blend this in with the look at me cue, and then I think we got it. I'm going to try and experiment with this in a couple seconds to see if it works. Rest a little bit here, because she's cold. And then I'm going to pick up the stick, and I'm going to make her sit and look at me first. And if she looks at me, then I throw the stick in the water. And that slowly begin to blend the stick game, the stick game with the look at me game. It become one game. Oh, one game, isn't that cool? Yeah, that a girly. Perfect. When I put her in the sit and I have the stick and I tell her to look at me, she'll look at me in several different directions before I throw the stick. So there's definitely a way to blend the stick, the stick game in with the look at me cue. It's gonna be cool. Well, here, the, essentially, we're gonna link the look at me cue with the stick game and then it becomes one game. And then hopefully add the camera into the system. Another tribe. That's a spaghetti and meatball tribe. They're really dangerous. They come flying out, we're not gonna have a chance. Oh boy, this is scary. You having a good time? Yeah, this is what you like. This is your day for fun. Fun time. House, 100% the treats work. Outside, 100% the stick works. So now I find it, I have to adjust this when I'm outside. I can train her in the house with the, with the, with the cheese, which she loves, but outside I'll use the stick. And hopefully I can use a little stick and then get her to look at that. But I still need someone else to film this when I'm doing it to get it down correctly. There's no way you can see the training procedure if someone else isn't. Bella? See, now I don't have the stick, but the stick is near my leg. That's the best I can do here. Yeah, that's good. You want the stick? I'm going to pick it up. Then we can throw the stick, okay? You want to throw it? I'm going to get it. hard to film it like that, but she actually looked pretty good with that. And I had to put the stick down and let it stay by my feet. But if I was able to hold it up, it'd be even better. So I really actually needed another person to film this, but she did it. And she stayed in the sit and she kept looking at me. So actually, I can make this happen. I just need another person to film it, but she's looking at the camera now. Once I fade the stick out and the cheese out, that's going to be the real challenge, though. But she's definitely not ready for that yet. Oh, the good girl. Yeah. Yeah, that girl. Hey, basically, with this training drill, and from what I'm figuring out here, the stick works 100% fine out here. It'd be even better if I had somebody else to photograph it, but also not to overdo it. The, you want to kind of almost trick her that the stick and the look at me cue becomes part of the game. So if you overdo the look at me cue, she's going to get frustrated and not want to play the game. She really likes the sticks. That's the main reward here. I give her the cheese as a snack now. But basically if I kind of slowly blend it in, she won't even realize what's happening and she'll start to look at me all the time even when I take a picture and then hopefully then I can fade out all the, the sticks and stuff and just get her to sit and let me take the pictures. The Rotillery tribe, they're really dangerous. Oh yeah, they're swinging through the trees right now. Back off, we don't have, I got my Bowie knife and I think we can handle this. Is I gotta link everything together. The sit stay at a distance look the look at me cue and being able to take the picture from far away far away and close up so I'm eventually I'm gonna link everything together but right for now we'll just take smaller increments and see what happens right, that's the ravioli tribe oh boy they're really dangerous they got machetes back off here I come I'm gonna take to the trees right now classical conditioning comes in I want her to associate everything with the stick so the sit, stay from far away, the look at me cue when I take a video or a picture, the down, any other activity, I want the stick to be the association with the activity. And my praise will be the primary reinforcer. Secondary reinforcer here will be There they go. Yeah, you look like you're having a good time, so this is good. You happy? As long as you're happy, everything's gonna go fine.
I don't think you can get that, but it's too slippery. You can't make it. You're gonna fall. Really bad in there. Too dangerous. Better come back down. Come on, man. No, you can't make that. Come on, bud. There you go. Good girl. You did good. Oh, those ducks are they're circling. They're circling. They're coming after us. Yeah. She did good that time. This time I held the stick in one hand and filmed it. And then since she did it, I gave her the stick as a reward and she's happy. So it seems like it worked. Okay. Come on, bud. Wrap that up now with all that uh, drills and stuff for today. And just let Bella have playtime. Do we enjoy the, the day? And she's happy right now. And she's getting a reward so she can do whatever she wants until we get back to my car. To the parking lot. And the day went really well. Definitely the drills are good. Bella's happy. I just did enough of it that she, it kind of blends in with the stick and the play. But I'm not going to do, overdo it with her. And I, yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that everything will link together. When it links together, she'll look at me for the pictures. I won't have to give her any rewards anymore. I can fade out the cheese and the sticks. But if the stick's part of the actual playtime, the stick might always be in there. It might be necessary because she likes to chase the stick and play. So in that sense, I probably still will continue to use the stick. But I'll fade out the cheese and the food. Everything will be linked together, and that makes it... 100% positive and there's no doubt in my mind it's going to work. I'll see what it's like when I play these videos back and see if she my electric school bus. Oh my god, somebody stole my $20,000 battery out of my electric school bus. I'm going to have to call in. And there's the electric school bus. Unfortunately, somebody stole the engine. So we got the batteries gone and the engine now. We're just going to have to push it downhill now to get back.